بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Living the Quran through the Living Quran, an audio visual translation of Tafsir al Nur of Sheikh Mohsen Karaati, translated by Salim Bimji and edited by Arif Huda. Audio version read out by the translator. In this 22 part series, we will be reviewing Chapter 58 of the Noble Quran, Surah Al Mujadila, The Pleading Woman. The ones who will prevail. Allah has decreed. I will most certainly prevail, I and my messengers. Surely Allah is all strong, all glorious with irresistible might. Thinking Points The custom, the sunnah of Allah, is that of the victory of truth, haq, over falsehood, batil. With all of the false accusations which are leveled against the Prophet, and with all of the obstacles, agitations, attacks, and wars from the time of the Prophet until today, is it the name of the Prophet of Islam and the other Prophets of Allah which are mentioned more frequently, or is it their enemies? Is it the name of Prophet Ibrahim which continues to live on today, or Nimrud, his adversary? Is it the name of Imam Hussein which continues to persist, or is it the name of Yazid, the one who ordered his killing? Was it Imam Hussein whose goal was to disgrace the Bani Umayyah and to teach humanity a lesson in how to attain true freedom? who reached his objectives, or was it Yazid? Now a question will come up that if the truth is bound to be victorious, then why is it that those who are on the side of the truth always seem to lose? Well, the answer to this is clear that if it is said to somebody that to have a child is a blessing from Allah, then it doesn't mean that there are not going to be difficulties at the time of pregnancy and during the time of the delivery. Rather, what people mean by the statement that a child, a baby, is a blessing from God is that even with all of the difficulties which pregnancy and childbirth entail, it is still a godsend. And thus the victory of the truth over falsehood will come under the shadow of true faith, perseverance, and unity, just as we read in the Quran in chapter number 41, Surah Fussilat, verse 30, where Allah says, And as for those who say our Lord is Allah, and then follow the straight path in their belief, thought, and actions without deviation, the angels descend upon them from time to time in the world as protecting comrades, and in their hereafter, with the message, Do not fear or grieve, but rejoice in the glad tidings of paradise which you have been promised. In addition, in chapter number 3, Surat Al-Imran, verse 139 in the Quran, we read, Do not then be faint of heart, nor grieve, for you are always the superior side if you are true believers. However, when lethargy, division,